Hey guys, video number four, and today we're going to do another open cup on a split canvas. Uh, a split canvas, meaning uh, I'm going to have a two color base. Um, I'm going to use my favorite color of all time, which is Payne's Gray, Creative Inspirations Payne's Gray, um, and then white as well. And we're going to do an open cup on the middle part of the line where they connect the two colors. And I might manipulate the paint. Uh, whenever I say manipulate the paint, I mean like maybe do a little bit with the palette knife or do some blowing with the straw or something like that. Uh, but let's get started on this messy masterpiece and see how it turns out. All right. Okay, so the first thing I want to let you guys know is that I sped up a lot of portions of this video because it took so much longer than I expected to make it because I added so many more techniques and details. So I want you to know that I'm not working as fast as you're seeing right now. That way you know that I'm going a lot slower than this. But I'm just laying my colors, my base color on the canvas. And since it's a split canvas, I'm going in with my dark color first and making sure that I get all my sides there. And then I go in with my white and I try my best to uh, spread out the white not getting close to the middle at first. That way I'm not dragging any of that Payne's Gray to those outer edges of the white area. And then I kind of go in the middle and I'm not really worried about that middle section getting some mixed colors. And here you'll see I'm just spreading a little bit of each color on both sides of the split canvas. And this is just so that the paint will flow out a little bit better and a little bit further so that it doesn't stay directly on that line. These colors are watered down somewhat. In the bigger cups, I've got an ounce of water added to that 20 ounce cup of paint. And with the gold, I just added just a tiny bit of water. And anytime you're doing an open cup, I would suggest adding a metallic because the metallic is gonna be kind of act like your cell activator. And there is no silicone or any kind of cell activator in these paints. It's just the metallic and the watered down colors. And then you just kind of keep layering the colors. And one thing I noticed after pouring this section right here is that I forgot to add the gold. And you'll see in the finished product that there's not as many cells in that area because I didn't add any gold. But it still came out beautiful. And since I realized that there was no gold, I think I kind of overcompensated for the fact I didn't put any gold in the middle section. So I kind of added a little bit too much gold in this top area. And whenever you're at the area you want to be done with the open cup, you kind of just drag it off the canvas and make sure you're doing that spin with the cup. That way it doesn't just leave a clump of one color in that area. Another thing is I just torched and I over torched and that's a good thing here just as long as you're moving your hand quickly because it's going to make more cells pop up. And now I'm just kind of stretching the paint. I'm not wanting it to go off the sides at all. I'm just kind of trying to make the cells bigger and keep a lot of negative space. And now I'm taking the same cup that I used for the open cup pour and I'm just kind of doing that same motion with the spin 
by dragging some of those uh, beautiful colors in the negative space. And while it might not look great right now, it dries beautifully and um, the darker sections will dry darker and the lighter sections will dry light lighter. Like the white will dry lighter in the white negative space and the Payne's gray will dry darker. And um, this area is sped up, but if you see right here, this is actually how fast I'm going. Just very slow, just making sure I'm trying to pick up some of that paint and drag it towards the edge. And then right here, I'm just going in with a straw and just kind of softening some of those edges that are too sharp in the colors that I dragged. Do you see those beautiful gold cells over there in the top right corner? I love those. And I'm just blowing some of the other colors out just a little bit. And then I'll go in with my finger and just kind of drag some lines and this wasn't necessary, but I like that uh, look, so I do that on some of my paintings. And every time you see my hand disappear, it's because I'm wiping the paint off of my finger before I go to the next area. And later, whenever you see the dried results, uh, I'll go ahead and point out what I'm talking about right there. Do you see that big clump of gold that I'm kind of breaking up right there? It's just a little bit too big of a area of gold. So after I finished painting this, I did go in and manipulate that a little bit more. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you at least learned one thing. And I will see you again tomorrow for another messy masterpiece. Make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button. All right, bye bye. Okay, this one's really given me a very under the water coral reef vibe. Um, I love it and I hope you guys love it too. Let me know if you do in the comments section and if you've got any tips for me, maybe leave them in the comment section too. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow.
All right, guys, this is the open cup that I did manipulate. The only thing that I changed about it after I stopped recording was I blew it out a little bit right here just because it had such a kind of straight edge right there. And I also went in and I felt like there was too much gold here. So I came in and just added those little details right there. But this is the painting and I think it turned out gorgeous look at that little kind of swirly heart shape or maybe a dolphin I don't know and I love how those colors flow into the white like that alright let me know what you think about this one